it's time for another Mahjong game, and this one is a bit different. This is the first video game based on the extremely long-running Gambler Jiko Chushinha franchise. It's a gag comic about a professional gambler who keeps encountering wacky people as he plays. His most common group of villains are the Octopus Group, a group of players who don't quite play Mahjong by the same rules as everyone else. There wound up being over a dozen games based on Gambler Jiko Chushinha. It was the popular thing to base your Mahjong games on, and there will even be a second game in the series released on the Famicom. Though, after it gets a CD game. In Asia, not just Japan, gamblers are seen a bit differently than they are in Western media. Just to use some broad generalizations here, in Western media, the emphasis for gamblers seems to be on taking risks. They play games where skillful play can win, but there's still an element of danger. In Asian media, the emphasis is far more on the character's luck as an inherent quality to them. Even when you're dealing with games like Mahjong, where there is a lot of skill involved, the gambler archetypes in those stories tend to draw amazing hands rather than reading their opponents or outplaying them. Strategy and psychology are the tools of the villains in Asian gambler stories. For the hero, the dice, cards, or tiles just come up in their favor. Of course, those are some very broad strokes, and it's not that hard to find some counterexamples of individuals. But that's the cultural context for gambler Jiko Chushinha. The tiles just favor him because luck is his skill. Mahjong is a tile-based game that's kind of similar to Gin Rummy. The game can be boiled down to drawing a tile, discarding a tile, and trying to build either sets or runs. Richi Mahjong is the variant popular in Japan, and it adds a lot of complexity on top of the game by requiring that you have certain hands in order to go out. There's also a scoring system that would require a 20-minute video all on its own to explain. The game Gambler Jiko Chushinha has three different modes. In free mode, you just pick out your opponents and play. In story mode, you choose whether you're on the heroic faction or the octopus faction, and then you have to play out a series of games to defeat everyone and prove the strength of your style of mahjong. Finally, there's a tournament mode where you just play a round robin against a series of opponents. From what I was finding on Japanese sites, the octopus faction characters don't necessarily follow the rules. For example, they may not let you pick up a tile that they discard. It all follows the comic storyline, and apparently if you know that, then you can outplay them by following their weaknesses from the comics. As someone who can barely pick out some winning hands, it made this game just about unplayable. There was a lot of, I think I should be able to do this, but I can't, and I don't know if it was my lack of knowledge, or the game playing wacky Mahjong variants on me. The AI seems fine, and I liked how you can see where they're discarding from. It gives you a hint to the structure of their hand. What it boils down to is that this is a very good game for somebody who likes Gambler Jiko Chuchinha, and is absolutely terrible for anybody else. If I didn't spend so much time digging up background on this one, I would have no clue why things kept going wrong for me. I mean, besides the series of life choices that led me to record daily videos on Famicom games. I don't have anything inherently against Mahjong games, but of the ones that we've seen so far, this is the one I would put at the bottom. It's a shame since there's so much personality to the game. 18 wacky opponents, each with their own personality quirks? That sounds pretty good. But Gambler Jiko Chushinha is just impenetrable if you're a newcomer to Mahjong.